Hi, brothers and sisters from the land of the blog. I'm Don, and this is my blog. Obviously, it's my blog. I'm the guy speaking it. At any rate, I want to talk to you this morning about freedom. Our freedom in Christ. Our freedom that He has set us free. That there is no condemnation in this freedom. That we aren't bound by sin in this freedom. The enemy can't touch us with this freedom. We are set free. And the Word declares that He whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Are you free? That's the question i got to ask. Ask yourself, do you walk in that freedom? If you don't, you're believing a lie. And you need to break that agreement with the enemy. The truth of the matter is, when Jesus died on the cross and said, Father, it is finished, He took all our sins, all our judgments, anything that God <clears throat> would do to us for our sins, even though we deserved it, Jesus took it upon Himself. By His stripes we are healed. By His bruised and battered body we are set free. And here's a scripture for you. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. We aren't bound by the law. We are absolutely not bound by the law. If we believe we've got to do something to please God, we're really trying to please our flesh. Let your mind be wrapped around that. And that was Romans 8, verses 1 and 2, by the way. Sorry about that. And then uh, in Galatians 5, verse 1, it says, For freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. Do not be bound by what your mind constrains you at. Do not be bound by what the world constrains you at. Do not be bound by what the enemy constrains you at. Break that box. Step out of the box. Tell God, get out of the box, Lord. Get out of my box I created for you. Smash it in the name of Jesus. And then in uh, Galatians 5, again, but verse 13 and 14, it says, for you were called to freedom, brethren. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh or to sin, but through love serve one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no law against love. There is no law against freedom. It's only in our minds that we're bound. It's only in our minds. It's what we believe about ourselves. If we come into agreement with the Word of God, we will be set free. And I just want to say thank you again for viewing my blog. And I want to say thank you for being awesome in Jesus. And I just ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that those viewing and not viewing, that their day would be blessed in You in the name of Jesus. And that, Holy Spirit, you would comfort them with all comfort. And Jesus, you would touch their hearts and heal them. And that, most of all, mighty God, you would set them free. That you would smash those boxes. That the lies of the enemy would be revealed for what they are lies. And that your truth would reign in their hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I'll see ya!